All right, we're out here with Bob. Bob's been working out in the chest area. We're gonna do some experimentation. It's my pleasure. Okay, so what we're doing today, me and my buddy Bob here, we get a lot of questions about when we do these meat tests, we do these brisket tests. Now what if the guy's wearing like a puffier jacket, you know, he's got a little bit of fluff in there. Is, is the black town or is the, the mayhem or is whatever you're defending yourself with, is it gonna go through that and is it gonna be as effective or is it gonna be effective at all? A lot of the videos we see, of course, it's just the meat or it's just rapidly, Tight, tightly wrapped meat and then just pfft, we've seen what it does for that so now some dude comes up to you in his Michael J Fox from back to the future vest and you want to know if uh, his life preserver is gonna save him we're gonna find out today okay so the first thing I'm gonna do I'm just gonna come across here and get him right here in the right chesticle area and uh, let's see what happens what we'll do is do a couple cuts and then we're gonna come in close and see what kind of damage we're doing. So this guy's coming at you. I'm just gonna do the whack. Get off of me. Get off of me. All right, so now we've ripped his really nice jacket, but we do anything to his peck flesh. Let's get in here and check it out. Okay, so there we go. You're inch and a half deep into peck flesh there. And then over here is the other one. Just, <laughs> I mean, look at that. You're way in there. So, it looks good for... Okay, so I'm going to try and hit him right here by hitting the zipper. And I'm going to get a little more angry and excited about this. Like, I'm really trying to get this guy off me. So, here we go. But that's not even fair to Bob. I just ruined his whole jacket. Alright, let's get in here. Let's see what we did. I mean, so if you're really determined to get dude in a downy i mean cottony jacket off of you i mean <laughs> that was tough but i didn't really just i didn't go totally nuts on it i just one swung it well since we're out here let's just go ahead and finish off this jacket we'll go left-handed we know that's not my strong hand but we can't get accurate with this <laughs> all right we killed Daffy Duck. All right, let's get in here. All right, the zipper doesn't work anymore. So, just on those underneath cuts, you can see coming up from underneath. Oh, I may hit the bone on that one. Oh, remember that one time I ruined that tiger claw? That's an old video. Who remembers that? Put that down in the comments if you remember that. So yeah, even just the underneath stab ones, just coming up underneath. I'm all the way, almost to my middle knuckle, just from what I did to this guy here. And just, you know, look at, we just wrecked them. So, yeah. I don't know if I'm going to be able to use this pork butt, all you meat enthusiasts out there. I might try to go in there and clean some of the fluff out and then smoke this bad boy. All right. Okay, so we see what the black talent has done. It's super effective, even against a fluffier jacket. And it's kind of exciting because you know you're going to be protected. Most people are just gonna wear t-shirts or long sleeve shirts. And even if they're wearing something that's a wintery kind of situation, you're gonna get in there and this thing, this thing's gonna just really determine how that whole situation is. I know it's scary, I know it's kind of weird to be talking about that, but in a situation where you gotta pull this out, now you know how effective it can be. And that's, that's kind of the cool thing about this whole thing is this is super effective. And I got, I got a couple more vests I got a lot more meat and I got some more knives to check out. So watch out for that. I'll talk to y'all later. I'm done.